Hello and welcome to Eurosatory 2024. We are here today at the Intelsat booth. It's the first time the company is exhibiting at Eurosatory, so very exciting. And I'm here today with Rory Welsh, the Vice President of Global Government. Hi, Rory. Hello, Alex. Good morning. Yeah, really nice to see you again, Rory. Um, so let's dive in. Could you tell us a bit about the role of Intelsat in uh, transforming military and humanitarian um, operations through uh, communications? Yes, yeah, so Intelsat, we're all about providing integrated communication solutions. And for that, we really do that through three different ways in our, in our vision. One is really looking at a multi-layer network, multi-orbits. So we have the largest uh, you know, geo-satellite fleet and, and uh, global network. And uh, we also are pursuing a lot of advanced networking capabilities to provide uh, more resilience, better performance, better quality of service, and then integrating um, between the, the space and terrestrial layers. And then all the way down to, you know, from, say, from the gateway to the tactical edge, we're developing new terminals that will allow our, our clients to be able to provide you know, better performance, better ease of use, and, and more mobility in their solutions. So, as is often the case in military and humanitarian operations, you are developing systems to answer certain needs on the ground. So, could you maybe elaborate a little bit on what kind of trends are informing the decisions you're making for the systems you're developing? Well, I'd say, number one, that the uh, customers are looking for more options and more resilience solutions. So how we're addressing that is, is through um, developing things like software-defined networking, all the way from the satellite layer down to the ground, and having software-defined networks that provide greater flexibility um, by use of standards and virtualization and other things like that that allow us to connect all the different layers of different orbits, um, from geosynchronous orbit down to LEO and all the way down to terrestrial layers, but allowing the customer to have many options and get a better performance, uh, more resilience, and just more choices, really. Mm -hmm. And so are some of these trends, you know, being informed also by what is happening in the world at the moment, you know, conflicts are changing and the needs are shifting. Could you maybe elaborate a little bit more about how the current situation in the world is informing the communications? Yes. Well, I think if probably the biggest, the biggest trend in, in sort of conflicts and humanitarian operations is, is an ever increasing need for data. Mm -hmm. and. At all different layer, at all different levels of, of command and control, and it starts with there's many different sources for collecting the data, and then that data has to get processed and and analyzed, and then ultimately distributed from the you know, upper layers of command all the way down to the very uh, you know pointy, pointy end of the people who are who are either conducting the humanitarian operations or or combat operations to be able to influence those decisions. And so that, all that data, in order, in order to really take advantage of it, you need, to, you need to have a very robust transport layer. And that's where Intelsat is really playing, is, is providing integrated, reliable, and you know, high-performance communication solutions everywhere from, from the very you know, top levels of command all the way down to the tactical edge. So Rory, now there's a question that everyone has been wondering since the announcement of SES acquiring Intelsat. So could you maybe tell us a little bit more about why this acquisition, what this will bring to SES and Intelsat and to the satellite communications world? Sure, and I'd say first off that there's been a lot of, there's a lot of competition in the industry, a lot of changes are happening in the industry. So the fact that Intelsat and SES are coming together is actually good news for our customers and our stakeholders. We, the two companies have a lot of complementary capabilities and as a combined entity, we'll have a lot more, um, our portfolio of multi-orbit solutions, multi-band solutions will be even stronger than it is today. We'll also have a lot more, I'll say, competitive strength together. And at the same time, you know, during this process and even after after we're combined, we're going to continue to meet all of our obligations to our current customers, and we're focused on providing the best communication solutions that we can, at that are most most affordable, most meet the needs of our customers. 
Um, so, Rory, thank you so much. I mean, we're here today at Eurosatory, so anything you are particularly excited about that customers can look forward to while coming at your stand? Sure, Alex. And as you mentioned, this, I'm really excited just to be here because this is the first time that Intelsat has been at Eurosatory, and it is obviously a very large international defense show. Uh, we've really appreciated the opportunity already. This is only day two, and we've had many meetings with you know, very direct meetings with some of the uh, international uh, military government customers that we haven't been able to talk to in the past. So that's been, been really great. And I'd say what, what people that are coming to talk to Intelsat can most expect to hear is more about the, the sort of communication solutions that we offer and how they can meet their mission needs. You know, whether it's providing uh, more capability for their soldiers, uh, whether it's being able to provide greater capability for the various land, air, and sea assets that they use, to providing more resilience and security, uh, multi-layer solutions, more security. I mean, those are all things that we're, we're offering in our solution set, and we look forward to having people come by and talk to us. Great. Well, thank you so much, Rory, for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you again, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful show. Thank you, Alex. You as well.